Good morning. I'm Glenn with Young Supply Company. I am the Ream Technical Support Person. Uh, today we're going to talk about installing the controls for an economizer in our RGED series 7.5 through 12.5 ton rooftop. So let's go through this so you can see what we've got. We've already installed our damper, as you can see, and we're going to look at the controls. When you get the unit, you have a wiring harness with a jumper plug in it. You're going to remove the jumper plug and save that for another step in a moment. We're going to put this plug into the economizer mating plug. We're now connected to the unit. Our jumper plug that we removed in the first step is going to go over here. There will be an empty plug right here. It's a little difficult to see, but it's next to the economizer actuator. And this is where the jumper plug belongs when you're all done. If you fail to move the jumper plug from the other side to here, you're, not, you're going to get an error for an open smoke detector circuit, so please make sure you move this. If you have a factory installed smoke detector, as this unit does, you don't have to move this jumper, but it will be zip tied where it was originally. Please do not cut the zip tie and dispose of it. It's useful for diagnostic purposes later. Along the top of my damper, I have the three main controls for the economizer. The first one we're going to look at is the enthalpy control. This is the outdoor humidity and air temperature sensor. As you can see, there is a decal right here that this lines up with. What we're going to do is we're going to screw the economizer, uh, the enthalpy sensor, right here. And we'll just screw this loosely for the moment. That'll mount right there. There are two purple wires here, and these will connect to the enthalpy sensor. Now we're going to take our other two parts, our mixed air sensor and our main controller, and we're going to go to the next two steps. So this was basically step one of three. We'll go to the other side now. Step two is to install the mixed air sensor. This looks like the enthalpy control, but it has an orange tag, which makes it the mixed air sensor. If you notice, hanging from the unit wiring harness are two black wires with a white plug on them right here. Those are the wires that plug into the mixed air sensor. These wires could potentially be stuck up behind something, either up here or behind some insulation. Please understand the wires are in the harness. You may just have to dig to find them. You'll take the wires and you'll plug them onto the control, just like we did the enthalpy sensor. And in this case, what we'll do is we'll take a zip tie, we'll push through the loop, and we'll just wrap it around the wiring harness right here. All we have to do is be in the airstream somewhere near the blower. This is the recommended location for it. If you want to double zip tie it, you may. Step three is going to be take the control, which you notice has all the wires on it. It does come out of the bag with the, with the harness attached. And we are going to mount the unit controller right here. So I'm going to put a screw right there. There is another screw that goes in the bottom to hold it in place. Please notice also there is a ground wire right here with a loop stake on, on it. It needs to be connected right here. Like that. The harness will then loop across the top of these harnesses here. You'll come down behind a couple of the wires in the harness so that you can reach down in here rather neatly. And if you notice, we have a Y harness. It has a male and a female plug. We're going to remove the male ended plug from the board, connect it to the female plug on the Y harness. We're going to take the remaining male plug and plug it into the unit Molex plug. And that's it. That's all the wiring on the controls for the economizer. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions, please contact a local Young Supply representative.